Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring numpad standard IPv4 ACLs. Alright, here we can see the objectives uh, in this activity we are going to uh, plan an ACL implementation then we uh, configure, apply and finally verify uh, this uh, standard ACL. Now here in this topology we can see the routers are already configured including IP addresses and enhanced interior gateway routing protocol that is EIGRP routing also configured here. We will come to uh, part 2 1 plan an ACL implementation uh, in that step 1 investigate the current network configuration. Uh, before applying any ACLs to a network, it is important to confirm that you have full connectivity. Yes, obviously. Uh, verify that the network has full connectivity by choosing a PC and pinging other devices on the network. You should be able to successfully ping every device. Yes. So, as uh, they mentioned early, in this packet tracer, uh, they configured uh, IP addresses, even EIGRP protocol. So, we have to verify uh, this uh, network is uh, working perfectly. Right, we will uh, come to uh, PC1 and uh, we will ping to all other devices like PC2, PC3 and to this web server. Also, we can see the IP address of uh, this each devices here in this uh, um, addressing table. We will come to PC1 and we will ping to PC2 first. Here we can see the IP address of PC2. Okay, come to desktop, command prompt. Here we are going to give ping and the IP address of a PC2. So here I am going to copy this IP address. We'll paste it here. Yes. We are getting the replay. Now we will come to uh, PC3. Here we can see it is uh, 30.10. So here we have to change to 30.10. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will try to uh, web server. Yes, here is our web server. Okay, here we can see the IP address of a uh, web server. Give the ping command to the server. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Evaluate two network policies and plan ACL implementations. Right. Here they given the first ACL. The following network policies are implemented on R2. Right. Uh, the 192.168.11.0 slash 24 network is not allowed access to the web server on the 192.168.20.0 slash 24 network. So here we can see this 192.168.11.0 network and uh, uh, it is not allowed to access uh, this web server uh, that is uh, 192.168.20.0 uh, network also here we can see all other access is permitted so this network is not allowed to access this web server and all other traffic uh, is uh, permitted so here they help us to create this uh, policy on r2 uh, to restrict access from uh, the network uh, 192.168.11.0/24 network to the web server uh, this network without interfering with the other traffic an acl must be created on r2 the access list must be placed on the outbound interface to the web server a second rule must be created on r2 to permit all other traffic and here they give you the second uh, policy. The following network policies are implemented on R3. Uh, the network 192.168.10.0/24 is not allowed to communicate with 192.168.30.0/24 network, and all other processes permitted. Right? We will check this network 10.0. 
yes here we can see 10.0 this network is not allowed to communicate uh, to the network 30.0 yes here it is here we can see uh, to restrict access from uh, the network 192.168.10.0 slash 24 uh, to the network 192.168.30.0 yes it is 30.0 slash 24 uh, without interf uh, interfering with the other traffic an access list will need to be created on R3 yes we are going to create uh, this access list on R3 uh, the ACL must be placed on the outbound interface to the PC3. A second rule must be created on R3 to permit all other traffic. Now we will come to uh, part 2. Configure, apply and verify a standard ACL. So in the step 1, configure and apply a numbered standard ACL on R2. Create an ACL using the number 1 on R2 with a statement that denies Access to the 192.168.20.0 slash 24 network from the 192.168.11.0 slash 24 networks. So we have to give this uh, command on uh, global configuration mode. Access list then uh, uh, access list number 1 we are going to give deny and uh, uh, which network we are going to deny that uh, network address we are going to specify. Then we are going to specify the wild card mask. And here we can see by default an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rules. So to permit all other traffic configure the following statement right. So once we uh, give this uh, deny command uh, access list denies all traffic we must uh, give uh, this statement just after uh, that uh, deny command that is access list one permit any. And uh, for the ACL to actually filter traffic, it must be applied to some router operation. Apply the ACL by replacing it for outbound traffic on the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. So we have to use this uh, command and we have to give IP access group 1 then uh, to outbound. Well, we will do this configuration on uh, router R2. Coming to R2, CLI, right. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to create access list and here we can see uh, we are going to create a standard access list. So here we are going to give uh, number 1 and we can see we are going to deny. Then we have to specify that uh, address. That is 192.168.11.0 and we are going to specify the wild card bits that is 0 .0 0.0.0.255. Now uh, we are going to uh, permit all other traffic access list uh, 1 permit any. Now we are going to apply this uh, uh, ACL uh, to the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Hence we have to go to the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And here we are going to give IP access group. The group number we given is 1 and this is outbound. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Configure and apply a numbered standard ACL on R3. Create an ACL using the number 1 on R3 with a statement that denies access to uh, this network 30.0 uh, from the PC1 that uh, network address is 10.0. So we have to uh, give uh, this command right. Then by default an ACL denies all traffic that does not match any rules right. So we have to permit all other traffic using this command. And we have to apply to uh, the interface uh, IP access group 1 out. We will come to the configuration part on R3. Okay. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to create access list to 1. And we are going to deny that we have to specify the address uh, 192.168. Uh, that is 10.0. 
and then we have to specify the wildcard bits that is uh, 0, .0, 0, .0, 0 0.0.0.255 and now we are going to permit all other traffic so access list 1 permit any now we are going to apply to uh, the interface so we have to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we are going to give IP access group 1 outbound now we will come to uh, step 3 verify ACL configuration and functionality on R2 and R3 enter the show access list command to verify the ACL configurations enter the show run or show IP interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 command to verify the ACL placements right we will check these show commands on these routers r2 and r3 first of all we will come to r2 enable here we are going to give a show access list command yes here we can see uh, the acl what we created also you can use a show uh, running config and we can see the acl yes here we can see now we will go to uh, show IP interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, here we can see yes, outgoing access list is 1 and inbound access list is not set finally uh, we are going to uh, with the two ACLs in place network traffic is restricted According to the policies detailed in part 1, use the following tests to verify the ACL implementations. Alright, we are going to ping from uh, uh, different devices uh, to other devices. First of all, I am going to ping from PC1. We will ping from PC1 to PC2, then we will ping from PC1 to PC3, and then uh, PC1 to web server. So, we will get the IP address of a PC2 will come to pc1 command prompt so here we have already uh, pc2 ip address is 11.10 right yes here it is here we can see we are getting the replay now we are going to ping from uh, pc1 to this uh, web server okay so web server ip address is here we can see it is successful now we will ping from PC1 to PC3 and uh, here we set uh, the ACL uh, to deny the traffic from PC1 to PC3. So we have to verify that. IP address is uh, 30.10, right here it is. Oh, we given 11.10, right, it's 30.10 right yes here we can see destination host unreachable so uh, from PC 1 we cannot communicate to PC 3 as we set uh, access control list yes this was the second policy what we set uh, that is uh, from this network uh, it should not communicate uh, to this network that is a uh, 30.0 now we are going to ping from PC 2 So we have to get the IP address. So we will ping to PC1. Right. We will get the IP address of PC1. Ping and then the IP address here. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping to uh, PC3. Here is the IP address. That is 30.10, right. We will give here itself 30.10. Yes, we are getting the replay. And now I am going to ping to the web server. So here is the IP address that is 20.254. Yes, and we can see uh, it says destination host unreachable. Yes, so this is the first policy what we set. 
uh, that is uh, from this network 11.0 should not communicate to this web server network that is 20.0 now we will try from pc3 we will ping to the server so ping to yes 20.254 yes we are getting the replay well uh, friends in this video we have seen configuring numbered standard IPv4 ACLs yes obviously this is one of the sample packet tracer activity uh, in this way we can create uh, a number of uh, uh, standard ACLs according to our uh, requirements friends if you have any doubt regarding CCNA routing and switching please comment below also if you like my videos if you like my channel give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest video uploading info into your gmail thank you